Sleep, 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 sleep sometimes. Blare it in your Jeep so your peeps can stare at the rhymes. Real rhymes, not your everyday right. hologram. Yo, Even what's when happening? <laughs> this is the third hand. time that I'm recording this. Um, Christmas tomorrow, so happy Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas if you're watching this. Um, hope you've managed to spend the time chilling. You get me? Doing something you enjoy, around those you love. Um, and yeah, man. So this week is actually a little bit of a check in. Again, we do like our little check in points. Can't believe a year has gone. Um, you know, coming into the back end of this year, I just thought it'd be good to go through some financial tips. Um, another area of content which I'm quite passionate about. So yeah, man, I just thought I'd share some of the things that I've learned over the last year, basically. So there are some fundamentals that you want to be aware of. Um, one of them is going to be ensuring that you've got yourself an emergency fund. I think this is one of the most important basics. Three to six months worth of emergency funds. So that's outgoings from your bills right through to things that you enjoy. <clears throat> so if if the crap hit the fan, <laughs> you know you're going to be good and you've got that confidence that you can look after yourself for a period of time. Um, the next fundamental, uh, number two, is budgeting. So we've done another video earlier in the year talking about some tools that can help you to budget. But yeah, man, it doesn't need to be anything complicated. But if you're in a habit of budgeting, it's going to help to hold yourself accountable. And the third one is investing. But with this one, there's a bit of a caveat. Um, some of the most common uh, investing terms that I heard of uh, on my journey through getting better uh, better financially liter literate, that's a mouthful, <laughs> getting better with financial literacy was investing in an index fund, um, you know, like the S&P 500 um, or the FTSE. So there's plenty of different investing platforms that you can use. But what I didn't do is take into consideration my own goals when it came to, you know, using my money to the best of its advantage. And what I mean by that is my goal at the time was actually um, my next milestone for me was saving for a house. So there's something that currently exists called a LISA. It's like a government scheme, um, which is a lifetime ISA. And essentially, you can get a 25% um, contribution up to the up to a maximum value of like four thousand pounds per year um so where well you can save up to a maximum of four thousand pounds and get a 25 percent bonus on that um and the platform that i use at the moment is called Moneybox. um that was actually recommended to me by the babes but when i done my research i looked on uh, money supermarket um no sorry the money saving expert website uh, again another good website to use that was a good reference point because uh, Moneybox was one of the platforms that came up with the least fees and some of the best features. So yeah, man, check that out. You can use that um, if you if you would like to open up a LISA. But yeah, essentially, I jumped into investing into an index fund, which I expected a back, you know, like ten percent returns on a year, um, which is fine, which is good, but. In my case, when my goal was to actually save for a house, I'd be able to get back 25%, um, you know, up to that maximum value. So you have to take into consideration what works best for you. And with that being said, I would strongly suggest writing down your goals, whether it be short term, mid term, long term. So, you know, it could be a three month goal, a one year goal and a three year goal, just for example. Right. Um, and then plan based on that. But. Let's be implementing the basics so we go into next year feeling strong, feeling confident. Don't get me wrong, this is a lot easier said than done. Try saving up six months of emergency fund, bro. <laughs> and I'm sure it will teach you a lot about um, where you are. But yeah, man, let's live within our means. And I'm talking more so for the benefit of myself. Yes, we will fall off, it happens, but just being aware of these basics that we can go back to and constantly checking on should hopefully help to prepare us for a more confident and more fruitful um, way to be able to enjoy what we love, yeah? All right, I'm gonna leave that with you. Bless up.